Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the next episode of the scavenger series. Last time we crafted ourselves a grenade case as well as a magazine case to help clean up the hideout even more. We were also able to upgrade to heating level 2 so we were able to get a little bit more progress inside the hideout. Today our goal is to get to security level 2 which is going to open up many different things for us to start upgrading in the hideout. For one, we'll be able to get the intelligence center upgraded and finally started so we can get some scavenger tasks going as well as trying to get the illumination and also try to get the generator up in levels. Are you ready? Now theoretically, if I don't mess up, we should be able to get a level two endurance or like pretty much to the point we're there. So we'll check it out. We'll see if we can make it. Let's enter into the hideout. Cross your fingers so we can actually make it happen. Open sesame. Cross your fingers, cross your fingers. Hopefully I don't feel this too badly. There we go. So far so good. Oh crap. We don't we don't like stuff like that. We don't want to mess up like that. Oh we're working on strength now. A little bit more endurance. Oh no, no, no. That's not good. Oh no, failing the small ones. I always do it. Every time I get to the small part. Actually, I don't even think we would have even made it even if we hit one or two more. Let's uh let's get a little bit of energy in. We'll go with the peas, croutons, and then we'll drink the rest of the water. Yeah, that should be enough. Alright, let's do the last one. There's a chance that maybe we're gonna hit it. Oh gosh, if I stop failing, of course. Hey, there we go, level two. I think we just barely hit it. Oh no, <laughs> I'm failing. I swear I'm hitting like right the point that it needs to be hit, but apparently I'm not hitting like the, the correct spot. Oh, it's annoying. Anyway, we, we did it. That's all that matters. We go what, 15 here? Let me go another 15. And then another four. Good enough. Okay. That also should give us a pretty decent levels. Let's go trader. Back it up. Go here. And then we look at. Oh, well. Skills. Skills are we're looking at. Okay, yeah. We actually got some XP out of that. That's really nice, actually. Therapist, you're blinking. Why do you blink? Oh. Oh. Aha. Well, let's turn the first one, shall we? Boom. That's another quest completed. That is 2200 XP, guys. 2200 XP. That's so much. So much XP. I don't know whether or not. Well, we could look at this. We just gotta hand those bandages. I'm gonna look at this. Because this wasn't available before, but apparently now it's available. Uh, what was I looking at? Traders. Oh, hideout. Boom. There we go. In three hours, we'll have endurance. Well, we'll sorry, we'll have security level two, and then after security level two is done, we'll be able to do intelligence center level one, which means scavenger quests are coming online, ladies and gentlemen. And we got our max case now. What else was they working on? I think wires. A bunch of wires we got now, which we need for a bunch of upgrades. Med station. I was working on the cheese. Wow, look at that. And we have a whole bunch of stuff because like these are all still filled too. It's so full. It thinks so full. I'm definitely gonna have to invest in another scab case or scab junk box case, which is completely fine. Completely fine. Before we do that, though, let's collect our reward from therapists. We get some money and some medical supplies, which honestly we're probably used for crafting anyway. And yeah. All right. So that being said, then lavatory, lavatory. Is there anything else that I want to work on now? I think what we're going to do is we're going to buy these mags. So I can just fill those actually. We can buy one, two, three, four from prep or apparently not with the teapots. So just two. That's what it looks like. Four. Then at least now that we'll have the, the mag ready because we needed that for the, I think it's gunsmith part two. Pretty sure it's gunsmith part two. Yeah. So we're looking good so far. I'm, I'm very happy. All right. 
That being said, since we got that undone, uh, all done and we hit level two endurance and we're almost about to hit level three metabolism, which is amazing. Things are looking pretty darn good at the moment. We're going to head out and we're going to go and look at trying to get the last wrench so we can get the hideout for nutrition. Yeah, we need one more, one more wrench. And then we'll go from there. I also need to look out for fuel because I totally forgot to, uh, you know, turn off the fuel. Not a big deal. <laughs> Not a big deal. So let's head out and let's see if we can do this. PMC has like so much stuff on him. So much stuff on him. I'm actually really excited about this. <laughs> And we got one of those bandages. I'm not sure if it's gonna like literally turn one bandage or whatever, but we'll give it a shot. If it's just literally a single bandage, I mean that's not gonna hurt anybody whatsoever. Or at least one of the each of the kinds. Level nine endurance on this on the scab. We're looking good. Um uh, Is there anything gonna be down this hallway that I can really use? I don't think so. I think it's the other one I gotta go to. Level 7 health. Wow, we're getting levels just for days. Mm, no, this apartment doesn't have anything. Let's go next door because the next door's got all the... It's got a drink at least. We'll take the drink. Next door's got all the stuff that we're gonna need. Specifically, like, toolboxes and whatnot to look for the wrench we're looking for. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Also, I was like uh, looking at a couple things in between like raid and it turns out we actually have a lot of oh wait I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I go this way. There's actually a lot of things in the hideout that we can start working towards and we'll, I'll go over that probably after this raid to show you guys what I'm talking about but there's quite a bit. I think it's this building right here isn't it? It reminds me every time that I, I, I somewhat remember this place. I forget automatically what I'm looking for, but I'm pretty sure if I go upstairs here, there should be like three or three or four of them. Yeah, this is the one. Yep. I remember now. I'm remembering correctly. Search everything. See what we can find. I hope this is a battery. Nope, not a battery, but we'll take everything. And definitely we're, we're going to be going in and getting another Scab, a scab drunk box. We need it. It's just gonna make our lives a lot easier. Even later on, you know, it seems like it's gonna be a waste, but we can always use it for later. For later, to like say we don't we don't need as many items anymore, we can always um, replace it with say like the, the actual scab case to work towards like certain like to get the other items. You know, the scab case next to secure security. We can work towards that. Now, someone's asked me why I came back to, uh, keep picking up the duct tape. We actually need a lot of duct tape. A lot of things require it. I don't think I necessarily need it at the moment. Okay, now I'm, not, now I'm thinking about it. I actually don't need it at the moment. However, for the most part, it's pretty useful, especially for all the things that we're working on. But unfortunately, I don't think we're going to need it for a while because it's going to, we're going to get blocked for certain things in the hideout for a little while until we start working on stuff with the PMC. Let's go downstairs. I think there's one inside of this building. Oh, I think I gotta go this way. Can I jump through one of these windows? Yes, I can. Because I'm quite certain around this corner there's actually a toolbox. There is. There is indeed. Metal parts. I'm gonna need more of those too. Grab it all. Grab it all. Might as well go to construction at this point then. See if we can find what we're looking for. And then with the grenade. If we get lucky, maybe we take down the player or something. Did you just hear someone? Oh, just scabs. Just a bunch of scabs. Check everything here. What you got for us? A diary, huh? I also need to start looking more at the Ooh, green battery. Need that. I need to look more at fence because fences get more items um, that are starting to look a little more intriguing that I need to grab, especially like weapons. There's there's some parts and weapons that people are throwing away that, technically speaking, if they don't want it, I can use them. 
So I am keeping an eye out the uh, for him. I almost completely forgot about this room. The scabs are running around with their heads cut off right now. I don't know if you can hear this or not. I'm also listening in for players. I've only been hearing these scabs. What you got? Any key? Nope, just some money. Money of which I do not need at the moment. Got a mask, toilet paper. Don't I need this? I'm drop the respirator. I'm pretty sure I need this mask. I don't know why. I'm, I'm thinking about it, and I don't think I've grabbed it for the quest. It's the one where you gotta like place the four items on in the woods. But I'm quite certain I need that. That one I can't loot. I think it's the one right there. All the scabs are on the move right now. Got something. Got a helmet. Nice. And another tool set, which I don't need. Come on. Out of all these boxes, you think I'd be able to find what we're looking for? <laughs> you would think that a single wrench wouldn't be this difficult to find, but you would be wrong. Contacts, I already got those on. But, hey, I can make some room for it. Make a little bit of room. I always find it weird that we find contacts inside these boxes. Don't know why we do, but I guess it's something that you would find inside of a, a, a box like that. I, I, I wouldn't think so, but hey, I'm not the one developing the game. Put more boxes here to check. Come on, wrench. We just need that single wrench. Calm down, scabs. You're going crazy. Literally running with your heads cut off right now. Rip ammo. I mean, if we don't find it on this map, we can always go over to, like, interchange. It seems like we find it on interchange a lot more often than anything. Also, I heard any, haven't heard any shots yet, so it's making me kind of think that... Either all the players left or they're dead. Take the bolts. Don't need any of the screws right now. There should be a warmer box upstairs. We'll check. What you got? T plug and a hose. I do not need either of those. AK mag. Ooh, actually. I'm going to drink up this Tarcola and take that. Oh, I don't know if I have access to this or not right now. But I think I actually have a... Um, I think I actually have a... Weapon that this goes to. Or, not a weapon, but you know what I'm talking about. Like, a, like an attachment that this is useful for. I don't know, I, I'm quite certain that we have that. If not, we'll just sell it, but I'm pretty sure we do. No weapon, very nice. Never say no to weapons. See if we can replace the uh, Todd's as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the face shield. Check this out. Maybe check out the long building here too. There may be something good inside there. Doctor attachments. Another face shield. Hello, scabs. <laughs> you guys are just having the time of your life. All right, let's see what else we can find. Well, the rain finally stops. I'm gonna check these cabinets quickly. You know, I think someone's already gone through them, but we're gonna check them anyway. Um, yeah, so I, feel like, I feel like if we can't find the wrench here, then we might as well just start looking for some other like higher tier loot anyway. I'm gonna drop this. I should start carrying, like start carrying the SIGs and grab them while we're walking around, but it's not like super, super important in the moment versus other stuff, but. Then again, we're pretty much at the, like, we're almost at that point where we have everything. Oh, wow, look at that. The map. The map, finally. Although, I, I'll, I'll take it for now because it sells for good money. But, um, we're kind of at that point where we're at the stall point for upgrades. Other than, like, I think there's two other things in the hideout we can actually upgrade. So, I guess grabbing, what, grabbing this stuff wouldn't hurt for the time being. And just start slowly but surely, like, Getting those things built up. We need, I think it's five of each. 
It's been a while since I've worked on that task, but I'm pretty sure it's five each. Uh, there's sugar there. No. I'm not going to collect the sugar. Check the rest of this building. Nothing there. Hopefully we can find a dead scab or something to replace his rig. I'm going to drop the ES lamp for the G phone. I, I'm quite certain that's the last one. Another gas analyzer, which we don't need. Let's see what we got. Nothing inside there. PBM is good ammo, but I don't really need 9x18 at the moment. So we're not going to grab that. Actually, energy is kind of looking kind of skittish. Let's take the sprats. Eat sprats up. We got a decent amount of food at the moment for the PMC. Although we probably want to start collecting some food soon. Considering now that we've, we've hit the endurance level. Actually, I'm going to leave those contacts. I was going to... I was gonna take them, but I would end up selling them anyway. We'll just leave it on the ground for now. Oh, we got some shots. Oh, I need that. Need that. We were looking at. We were looking for that last episode. We weren't able to find it. So I'm glad we we're able to find it this time. Come on, search it. Nothing there. Oh, is that the? I think this is the other one we need. Shabang, shabang! We got a bunch of shooting going off. Um, screws and take the bandage because we have now we have one of each of those bandages. I think this. I think the our aramid is what we needed for for the craft. I have to go back and look at that. I think I'm gonna get out with the stuff we got because I'm gonna go check for one the, this bandage quest that therapist has. And two, I'm quite certain those are the items we need to make another black rock and a couple other things. So we're going to check that out. Do I want any of this? Drill, PCB? No, I'm good. Check it up. See what we can get. No, I don't need any of that. Didn't know if that was a searchable one or not. Basement descent is our exit. So we can head over that way. Tape, duct tape, and a hat. Open sesame. I mean, this stuff's gonna just sit around for a little bit in these bags anyway for right now until we spend the money to get another schedule book, which I could do, but I think we're gonna wait until probably to the end of the episode to actually do that. Just to keep the time moving. You know me, I, I like to try to keep things moving. Drop that. We got shots everywhere. However, at the moment, I don't care about the shots. I kind of want to focus on the looting. At least for the first one. Well, that's an interesting shotgun. Huh. Is there any attachments that I really want off of that? Not really. I mean, the X400 wouldn't be horrible. We drop that. Take the X400. And I don't need any more 133 shotguns. I've I've hit the cap on those shotguns. I have all the masks. I have all the knives, but I think this knife sells for more anyway. And actually, isn't the packet technically better than this? Yeah, it's about the same. Actually, the movement speed is better on this one. Drop it. Take the pack. Actually, the pack has no armor. I lied. I'm picking up the other one. 683 or 80, 682 coming back with me. Has this not been searched again? Anytime I see that door close, it makes me feel like this isn't searched. So I just got to take a look real quick. I'm getting overzealous here. I got to take a look because I know some t some of the tools spawn on these on the, these shelving units. So. Do you need to check them just in case? Ooh, bleach. I need the bleach. That is something we need. Diary, I don't need you, so you can go. Anything else in there? Toolbox. I got distracted. Got distracted. Door's been open. Nothing in the book. 
Did they leave something inside of here? Nope, not this time. All right, all right, someone actually came through this. At least I feel better about someone actually coming through here and looting it. Versus like the last time where everything was just completely left here. I don't know why that made me annoyed. I was just very annoyed. I'm like, you're gonna tell me this stuff has not been looted yet. Yeah, it looks like this place has been looted and no one just hasn't touched these certain items. What ammo we got? SP5. I looked at the, the price for the SP6 the other day. Because I noticed that the price went up or the, the crafting changed on it. And my goodness, did it go up in price? It's like 3000 3, around. It's so expensive now. I don't know who the heck is paying 3000 around right now, but not me. There's no way. I would just say we're going to use a different weapon at that point. Even though, like, the Val is very good, I still think that's a ridiculous price to pay for it. Check this on the way out. See if our, see if our thing that we're looking for is inside of here. Yeah, nothing on you. Nope. Anything inside? It's a book. Okay, a drink. Actually. Okay, so I'm gonna look at here. I don't need a tool set. I have enough of those. I want to take the fleece. I'm gonna take the drink. Because in case it's in case it's the fleece instead of the aramid, I'm gonna just ha take that just in case. And I because I can always use the other thing for crafting later too. Screwdriver? Do I need you for anything? I don't think so. Nothing here. That's a lot of propane. That's a lot of propane. Someone's already searching this because you can see the as by the floating spark plug there, but we'll check it anyway. More tape. Come on, game. All we're looking for is a simple wrench so I can focus on other things. Doesn't look like we're gonna find what we're looking for. That's fine. I need to go. I need to go over to interchange anyway, because I need to also find a battery. Uh, technically, I need to find a lot of batteries. I need like eight batteries in total, because we need them for crafting or not crafting, but we need it for the hideout. But we also need it for the quest for therapists. And we need a lot. But let's start with this, and then yeah. I'll show you what I'm, what I'm talking about though before we go into the next raid. We have time to kill anyway before the next scat raid, so we can take a look at this. So security obviously is going to level to level two, which means generator will be ready to go right away because we got all the parts good to go. So we'll be able to get the next level for the generator leveled up. Uh, but on top of that, once generator is good to go, illumination we can also get done just a second. We see one more light bulb to find, and then for vents. Vents, we just need to get strength level two, which will easily get that from working working out through the gym. And then we need one more battery on top of that. Of course, we're gonna need to find a bunch more of the electric motors, and we're also gonna need to find more of the wires. I don't remember. Did generator the generator did not take any metal parts, so I think we're good on that. So yeah, we've got some some items we're still working on. Pretty much Everything else is not, I think the heating we can almost work on, but no, we can't. No, we can't work on heating because we have to work on workbench level two, which requires us to have mechanic level two, which is like extremely far away because mechanic level two is like level 20. <laughs> so it's quite a, quite a far distance away. Um, I can't look at the craft just yet, but I'll look it up online. Shouldn't be that difficult to find. But what else we could do is you can go to here, turn in one of each of these. Boom. Uh, <laughs> um, this is, uh, I'm gonna guess this. Oh yeah, that's right. This was an event thing. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. It doesn't give any XP, although it gives you a bunch of items. I'm going to take it for now. 
let me know in the comments section i'll let you guys debate that between each other should we keep these items or should we delete them you let me know we'll discuss it we'll discuss it together that's interesting anyway on to the next one. Oh, we got a good spawn at least <laughs> we have like no room but we got lps at least which is nice let's go see what we can find i don't really need any well i kind of do need food i'm realizing that after doing the work out there and using a little bit of food we are getting a little bit low let's see before we go behind us and go to the back of goshen to see if we can find that wrench we also need to find some fuel and a bunch of other stuff too probably some cords and whatnot but let's see if we can find maybe maybe a player I heard an explosion so good chance someone's around here oh you coming back up this way Tell me is, man. Give it a second, give it a second. It's a scav. He's watching that angle, watch this angle. He's looting a player. Good chance he'll actually get popped by the other, by the other guy, though. No, okay, it's just him. Careful, I think there's one more. There's one more. Uh, yeah, I think he's at the end over here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah he's dead right here. I'm not sure who killed him though. I bet. Not bad. That's a giant upgrade for us. Good luck to you, man. Alright, let's keep moving. G-mount. I may actually want to take that G-mount. I think about it. But we won't take it for now. Let's keep looting. What else we got inside of here? Nothing inside the box. We got a magnet. I gotta be a little bit careful here because there may be a player around. Alright, that guy's leaving. Let's take this extra backpack. Extra backpack. Oh, I can't. I can only take one. Alright, let's take the rig then. Don't worry about the armor. Headset. Alright, let's move. Nice little setup there. We can go to the back now. And see if we can find the wrench and a bunch of other stuff we're looking for. What we got here? Need the mow. Yeah, I actually do need the mow. The mow's gonna be good for a one of the well, one part of the. What's that? No, I don't want that. It's gonna be. I'm like losing my train of thought there for a minute. Uh, it's gonna be used for one of the gunsmith parts. So we might as well grab it. We gotta be careful because there are. Seems like still players, but definitely player scabs around. And knowing player scabs, even if you tell them you're, you're a scab and you're fully armored up, sometimes they'll still try to kill you. So, you gotta be a little bit cautious about that. I'm thinking, let's go get some food real quick since we got a ton of room now. Load up on some food quickly, and then we'll move through the backside of the mall and see if we can find what we're looking for. That's probably the plan for right now. And then. You know, maybe go from, you know, maybe there's some other stuff we'll try to get done too. Anything back here? No, it looks empty. Oh, something's on the pallet. B3. No, I don't want. That. What you got? What you got? Some meds. Just take everything for now. If all the food hasn't been taken. We should technically be able to take everything. Yeah. Just take literally all the food. Because like I was saying before, we're only looking for like specific things. So we might as well just load up right now, get everything we can. Bunch of drinks. We, we need food though. Mainly food. 
That's what we're really lacking. But it looks like some may have came in and uh, cleaned it out a little bit. Let's search the bag though. I don't think I actually did that. Oh, it's empty. Load all those up into there. I see some food. Got some. Oh yeah, a lot of drinks. A lot of drinks and a lot of food. This is good. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Now I do need at some point to start working on collecting all these Tashanka, but at the same time, like, it's not the it's not the hardest item in the in the world to find. Obviously, we can come over to this location multiple times and find it anyway. So we might as well just basically just keep grabbing grabbing stuff for when we finish up doing the workouts. All right, not bad, not bad. Search this up and then make our way around the back. Is this full? Oh, it is full. All right. All right, we'll take that. All right, wrench, where are you going to be? We need your wrench. Oh, real quick, while we're actually going through this, I should probably show you guys the skills. I haven't shown the skills in a while. We're level 10 currently, almost level 11 for the scab. And these are the skills we got. It's been going pretty, pretty good, actually. Pretty darn good. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with the skills so far. Search is at level 5. We're getting there. Yeah, stats are looking really nice. Every little bit's been helping for sure. Oh, someone's definitely come through here. All right. Well, it's not a big deal. Again, I don't see people really taking stuff like wrenches anyway. So we got to cross our fingers. Cross our fingers. And just hope that there's going to be the parts here. We could go over to Ollie. Ollie would not be the worst place in the world. Because, like I said, we need to get fuel for the generator and a bunch of other stuff, too. So I can make my way that way towards the end of this run anyway. And maybe we get lucky. Maybe we get lucky. This is kind of nice, though. We got a grenade launcher now for the PMC. Very, very nice. Let's check this. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Let's keep on the search. grab that water filter I think it, we talked about that last episode that we may want to grab one so I'm gonna take that what else we got here anything else no I always gotta check the spot just in case there's a Ludex hey look at that we got the wrench nice okay let's keep moving there's a bunch of explosions outside so I'm gonna go look outside and see if um we can get eyes on somebody if there's somebody out there, another player, they might as well try to go for the kill. I think we're going to do, instead of like sitting on the opener over here, we're going to go with the right. And we're going to sit up top. That's going to give us probably the best advantage to try to kill someone. Got to save us from the stamina, though. Grenades kind of stop, though, so I'm not sure if it kills somebody. Let's drop that in the corner. Am I going to break anything here? I shouldn't. Got a scav. Oh, it's foggy. This may not actually work out. That's set to 100. Just look. Oh, there he is. Nope, that's just a scab from earlier. So, who the heck threw the grenades then? I'm going to guess out in the forest then. It had to be someone out in the forest. I got to be careful too, because if it was a, if it's a scab out there and I actually shoot him in the head, these scabs are going to be like super angry at me. <laughs> I could be searching here all day because of this fog. Like maybe we just say screw it and just keep moving. Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth it. I think we're going to Ollie next. Go to Ollie and see if we can find the rest of the remaining items we're looking for. 
check for some cords too. Like I said, we don't have the fuel just yet, so it's not gonna benefit us just yet. But I might as well just search for them and take them for, the, for right now and just save them up because we need like 45 wires for all the upgrades we need. And we have some for some of the upgrades, but we don't have enough for everything. So we might as well just grab everything we can and basically be prepared for it. Got probably caps and PSU. Yeah, PSU. Yeah, if we're prepared for it. Then right when it comes up, boom, we'll be ready to go. Plus, I'm also gonna check for a battery over here too. See if we can get lucky. Hopefully we can. Probably should turn laser on. But you're being this close. <laughs> being this close to everything, there's a chance I may uh, run to a player. Uh, you know what? Take the wire for now. Take the wire for now. Might as well take them. We're not really worried about collecting anything else at the moment. Other than the battery. That's really the only thing we're trying to collect. There are a bunch of stuff. We, like we need a bunch of motors and stuff for the generator and also and a few other things too. So like, yeah, we, we do need those items, but we've got some time. Definitely got some time before we are actually going to need to collect those. But if it's here, we might as well grab one since we got the room. Let's check that. Let's see what we got inside here. I don't really need this LPS at all. More contacts. Don't need the spark plug. No battery. Let's go check for fuel. Let's go check for fuel. That's the biggest thing we're, we're needing right now. If there's none here, then I think we call it good at that point. Fuel or battery? The two, like, number one thing we need. Let's check down there. Okay, didn't see one. Check into the hall. Oh, we're getting pretty close to the end of this raid. Woo. Keep on going. All right, sadly, no fuel back there, but we'll grab a few of the last remaining items here. And we should be good. But yeah, you gotta keep an eye out for the lunch boxes too. Because once we do that raid with getting Jaeger unlocked, the first task is to turn all that food in. So we need to make sure we have at least some of it ready. Like most of it's easy to find, so it's not gonna be like super detri detrimental to us. We can easily find most of the food like we've been talking about, but if we got it ready, hey, that's just easy XP to turn in. Get our get our PMC moved up in, in even more levels. Got nothing there. Right. I guess we could check the the ammo crate. Maybe there's something in there. Or an ammo crate, but weapon crate. Maybe we can change up maybe the modes or something for something else. Maybe. Maybe we get lucky. Well, we got something. Okay. Well, yeah, definitely not a weapon. <laughs> Alright, let's get the heck out of here. I'm kind of curious to what the explosions explosions were going on outside. There's definitely a fight. But I don't know. Oh. Hello. I don't know if I can even search that. Got five minutes left. Gonna be lit like right on the edge. Oh, you know what? The guy that uh, was with us probably killed this guy. We're not gonna risk that because I don't know if it's a if it's a PMC or a scab. If it's a scab, I don't want to accidentally shoot one. So we still got the majority of the items I want to get out of that guy. So not bad, not bad at all. The tiles is just a thing for us today. I feel like. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. We are definitely gonna have to uh, clean the stash soon. That thing is getting super full, but we're gonna come here to try and just find a little bit more loot and I. I think we're gonna also look at getting or trying to find at least one light bulb. There's so many tech spawns that it shouldn't be a problem. So we're gonna go give it a little bit of a look around. I think 
The best place is gonna be actually I think it's behind us. Yeah, it's actually over there. I want to go. I don't want. Uh, let's go to the apartment first. Go through the apartments quickly. See if there's any like higher tier loot, and then we'll make our way. Actually, I'm gonna check this because there's like a spawn for a possible moonshine, which I don't see today. So we're gonna we're gonna move in. But we're gonna see if anyone left anything valuable around. I gotta find some fuel though. Fuel is what's kicking my butt right now. Don't have any extra at the moment. Door. Doors are all closed right now. That one's open though. Take that from. Oh, there's two of them. It's not the worst thing to take out, actually. Let's see if this door's open. Door's closed. Okay. Let's give it a look over. How much time we got left in this raid? 30 minutes. Okay. So it's been going on for a little while. Got nothing in there. Take the sugar for now, I guess. Trying to find what we're looking for. Some good stuff, please. Some good stuff today. Got some crackers there. Let's check the box. See if there's anything inside that box over here. Nothing in the box today. Okay. No big deal, no big deal. Oh, yeah, there's actually a lot of stuff around here. And I think there was a book. Yeah, the book. Okay. All right, not horrible. Not horrible. Now, we, like I said, we have a lot of plans for the hideout. They're almost finished. And once we get to that point, we're pretty much just going to have to focus on getting to level five. Everything else that we pretty much get after we finish the last three spots of the hideout, it's pretty much just like saving up the money for the PMC for later on. Now, once we get... I think someone's on the roof. You know, that's just a guess. I think someone's on the roof. <laughs> Um, but yeah, once we get the PMC level, level five, we get Jaeger unlocked. They give us a little more options to work with too. So definitely looking forward to getting to that point. Yeah, this stuff hasn't been looted. Ooh, moonshine right there. How the heck is, I'm not even going to question it. Now I'm going to question it at this point. I feel like I'm, I'm getting a lot where there's just really high tier loot being left behind got drinks piece of psb nothing that i want there okay let's move it up top i don't know if that's a scab that was shooting or if it was a player well i'm sure we'll find out very soon not much good stuff all right let's take take everything take everything there's something else Or is it, is it trying to pick up that? It is. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. It's, it's saying it wants to grab something there, but I don't see anything. Let's make sure we triple check everything. Make sure we're not missing anything here. We're easily able to miss something. Someone's shooting off a gun somewhere near us. Dollars. No, I'm good. If we exchange any money, that's easy to do. We just we just use rubles to do that. But right now we don't need to do that. This is a really good selection, actually. I kind of let's take a look what how much time we got left. Twenty-seven minutes. We got catacombs. We got the shaft, and then we got the manhole. Wouldn't be the worst idea to just quickly get in and out with some of the stuff. The ammo. All right. Yeah, 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 let's let's do that. Let's do that. Let's check a couple more places just to see if we can find the light bulb. Because if we can find the light bulb, then that's illumination done. Should have grabbed one while we were on interchange. Completely didn't think about it. Also involved trying to find like some fuel or something. Okay. Yes, analyzers. Any? Oh, there are single items. Okay. Drop all that. You know, I'm playing. It. Close to the close to the belt with only two shots, but wait, is that not real? Oh, well, it's not real. <laughs> I thought that was real for a minute. Okay, all right, never mind, never mind. We can go one more four, one more four. Check this out. See what we got. And then this is just good stuff. We might as well just get out with it. 
if we can get a sniper rifle or, or just a regular rifle I'll, I'll even take just a regular rifle at this point if we can find that we're going right straight over to the lighthouse and we're going to attempt to try to find some rogues to kill and we're going to do it at night because like i said nighttime seems a lot better for us we have a little bit more protection it's all you know because it's harder for them to see us what do we got what do we got i don't think anything really good spawns here i think i checked this like a million times and never find anything good Check over here. Check the coat. Hmm. I'm thinking since so we gotta go over to like say the ventilation shaft, we might as well go go that direction and check some of the spawns that direction. I think I'm gonna drop. Hmm. Drop that. Take the liquor. Yeah, I think that's that's gonna be the plan. We're gonna we're gonna go. Ooh, do I need that? No, I don't need that moment. I think we're gonna we're gonna head over and see if we can find the last light bulb by the tech tech areas. So let's over that direction while we head to the exit. Gotta be careful here. Someone's shooting. Someone had automatic as well. I don't know. If this is the smart play. I think uh, I think the smart play would honestly just trying to get to the exit. Considering I threw away the rest of the extra mags that we had. We only got two extra shots. Been that kind of close to the belt. There is a, there is a couple of places to check over here. I heard some foot movements. Footstep, foot movement, footsteps. Sometimes I can't just, I can't tell. It's like on the other side of the wall. We're safer right now at least. Checking here. Light bulb is not, you know, our biggest concern. Let's be honest. So if we don't find it, it's not a big deal. I'm just gonna check this. Maybe check the the building that's in front of us, and then we're getting out. No reason to, to risk it. Oh, there's the fuel we need. That is the fuel we need. Um, we're gonna drop. Yeah, drop the drinks. We had a, we had a decent run with drinks anyway. Yeah, we're definitely getting out. That is some good stuff right there, and we need to secure it. So let's get to the exit. You know, I think the catacombs is right here. I don't think we have to go to the to the shaft. Quite certain this is an exit for us. If I remember right, like this door right here. It's the catacombs, is it? Please be it, please be it. It is awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, that's huge. That's a huge secure for us right there. All those items. Very, very happy about that. All right, let's move on one more time. All right, this is gonna be risky, but we're gonna give it a try. Because I'm using a shotgun. <laughs> but hey, maybe it'll work out. Uh, and yeah, that's really it. But we're going to see about getting inside of the rose area, or technically speaking, it's the water plant, but I think we can do it. It's gonna be a little bit careful. There's obviously people shooting inside there, probably using night vision and whatnot, but we'll have at least the cover of darkness against the rogues. Because especially if the first two start shooting at me, there's no way in heck I'm actually gonna make it past like the road sign up there. I said went all the way around. Then I'd have some bit of cover, but that just would take a very long time. Because uh, the rogue that's up in the corner just shoots down and just basically kills you in like two shots. So we are going to see about getting over here without dying. Oh, I didn't see the scav. Whether or not he was actually up. He's not. Okay. So we're good for a second at least. I am hoping to find like a rifle or something. Be a lot easier when having to fight these players at some point, because I'm sure I'm gonna have to. Hello. Nice, nice, nice. Take that, drop that, take the pistol. Search that in a second. Take the extra bag, mag just in case we need them. Right. Alright. 
we'll work on this. We'll work with us for the time being. Check on the mags. Just get some medical here. Very nice. Okay. Now there is one more over here in this corner. I don't see a scav on, or not scav. I don't see a rogue on the tower there. Bro, you are like. Okay, that's, that's definitely a scab. That's not a. That's not a rope. That's I don't think it is. I can't. I seriously cannot tell from the darkness. Looks like a normal scab though. Only one though. I'm actually surprised by that. So because there's two of them. So yeah, that's a bit strange. No big deal. Let's keep searching through. See what we can find. Piles of meds. Some need you. We got chain lit. I'll take that. PM pistol. I don't need. All right. Let's we'll start making our way through. Be very cautious because there's players who are right right now. We're just looking for pretty much whatever we can find that's gonna assist us for later. SKS. I don't need that. Oh, cool. This does have a flashlight. <laughs> I was kind of hoping it did. I didn't actually check it. Let's take that as well. I mean, honestly, I only need a light bulb. That's the only thing I need. It's just a light bulb. That's it. Just a single light bulb and we're good to go. But I figured, why not? Let's give it a try. See if we can make anything happen here. Keep going. We'll check up top there as well. Considering they're over there to the right still. Oop, I completely missed this area. Come on, Texpawn. Give me that one light bulb. We'll call it good. Everything else will be just a bonus. There it is. Very nice. Tool set. I'll take the cord. Especially now that we got the fuel. That's actually going to be very important to us. I'm not going to take that. Okay. Push off to the side. I'm going to go backwards and then go forward. Did I put this on full auto? It is. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Check the side here. See, I'm, I'm uncertain if like people have come through here already, or if like the person that's shooting right now ended up like killing from the from the mountain over there. It's very very confused about that. Also, I just realized I picked up a moonshine. I thought I picked up a vodka, but it's definitely moonshine. <laughs> I will take that. Check out the corner. Ooh, we got something. We got something. Very nice. Uh oh. He sees somebody. Checking the ground. I'm guessing he's shooting the player. Which means we gotta be cautious cautious about that too. PCB. Okay, looks like that's clear. We could could go to the left. I heard movement, but it could have just been the uh could have been the, the rogue up top. Drop these pistol mags. I don't know why I'm being quiet. <laughs> not like they can hear my voice because I'm not talking in game. Um, there's a field down there. We're going to grab that. Yeah, we still get that rogue down there. He could have killed him and then. Oh, it's definitely a player. You're just a regular scab, right?
Yeah, you're sure gonna scan. I'm like, there's no way that's a. I was like, there's there's no way that's a rogue right there. All right, we got some good stuff on us. We should probably get out of here. Probably should get the heck to the exit. I'm gonna have to turn around here and, and shoot the. I'm gonna have to end up shooting the rogue up top. Let's check and see if there's anything else in here that we may want. Doesn't look like it. Yes, you. We have a suppressor, so we're not going to be like super loud doing this, which is good. He's on the turret. I should have a shot on his head before he sees us. Forget about this. Every single time I run to that car. See, he says scab spotted, but do you see me? Oh, he's not on the turret. What the heck? Oh, he is on the turret. Got him. Okay, let's go. Just in case there's another one. I don't know if there is. <laughs> We're gonna get moving though. Like we've said in the past, quick in and outs with these with these matches is probably our best uh, best bet of living. I don't see anything at the moment. Okay, it's a scab. We're good there. I gotta be so careful at this corner though. I'm not gonna risk that. I'm gonna go down below. <laughs> Cause I can't, I can't actually see if there's somebody on the turret or not. We're going to go down around it. But this is a good, this is a good little pick. I mean, we probably could have gotten on top of the roof, but then we run the risk that someone's actually watching it. We don't want to have to worry about them. Scabs inside. All right, let's go. Get to that exit. Go, 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 go. Cool. I'm happy with that. Good little win. Just like the streets one. And I'll take that. All right, that was some good progress. We, we are completely full though. Like once again, completely full. This is becoming a, um, a new thing apparently for us. <laughs> but before we deal with that, Let's go over here. Security's actually finished because it's uh, it's been a little while in between the raids. Uh, let's get this installed. Very nice, very nice. We got the magazine I believe we were working on. Yeah, magazine. Now, I want to look at this. Oh, was, oh no, no, that's the one we're looking at. Not the ripstop. This guy. Oh shoot, it is ripstop. It was ripstop we need. I was thinking the other fabric. Hey, yay, yay. So, no, we need to look for a ripstop, but we can definitely start one of these. Get that started. Boom. Good to go. And that's going to keep going. Now, security level two is good to go, which means we can upgrade. Why is this not showing up as an upgrade? That's really weird. We can get this one upgraded. Get the fuel put into these. There we go. And we still got enough wires to get the illumination going. Nice. Level two illumination. And then generator level two once we get this done and then we'll need mechanic level two. So this one's out of the question for a while. However, this my friends, this is what we've been working for for so long. Intelligence center finally getting constructed. That is so nice. That's so nice. 
15.75% less time. So I think it's like, it's not that much. It really isn't that much. It's like three minutes. I think three minutes adds up every single time. So that's amazing. That's a huge win for us right there. Nutrition, we can also get this one started. I lied. Apparently, we're now missing a relay because of the <laughs> of the generator. So that means, hey, guess what we're doing? We're looking for a relay for the next, uh, next episode. Unless, unless someone sold one over to the fence. There's a chance that it's happening. By the way, people are like selling like Lennoxes and stuff. I don't know if it's like because certain things are getting sold randomly to, or things aren't selling to other traders. They're just like, screw it. We'll just sell it to defense and call it good i don't know where i get that lucky though but i don't know if you can can you actually sell it? no you could in theoretic theoretically speaking no no it looks like some of the stuff can't be sold so maybe a relay can't be sold to him but i'll give it like one more refresh maybe we get lucky one more time no, well, let's go go look for one. That's fine. We'll find one in like two seconds going into another raid, but that's fine. Out of everything else, that's probably the most important thing or most important things we got upgraded. We got the secure, we got security level two. We got the next thing of elimination. We got generators upgrading. Vents technically will be ready probably by next episode. That's fun. That's super fun. Um, but we got to find a bunch of different items. Gotta, gotta love errors. Gotta definitely love errors. So we get a lot of a lot of progress going. Character-wise, skills. Yeah, we're getting really close to the next strength level. So either next episode or the one after, we'll have the next strength level definitely needed. So I'm looking forward to that. A lot of items got pulled out. This is awesome. I can start refilling this thing. As like we did last time, everything will be pretty much be done in between the in between the episodes. Just gonna pull everything in. I'll put everything in that we need to keep and then sort this place up a little bit however before we do that i think i got enough room right here let's go to a therapist and let's buy one more i like we need more room <laughs> i thought we had enough room there but apparently no we're, we're just shy of the room oh man all right well let's see what we can get rid of let's see this is nothing even in this one and i don't even i get like a million of these rigs i can just sell this one for right now yeah that's fine i'm fine getting rid of this therapist now i'm gonna buy another one <laughs> good now we got a we got a third junk box what did i name this one quest slash hideout same thing this is gonna be tagged as that one quest slash hideout very nice another one to save for the books for later and a lot of items to go through to try and get sorted because there's so many to go through but that being said still a lot of progress was made today ladies and gentlemen and i'm happy to say we got so much more planned for the future so if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the scavenger series make sure you give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below what you enjoyed about the episode what you're excited about for the future if you haven't yet subscribe to the notification bell and we'll see you in the next one